Hey guys, it's Hina Chef here at Rebalance Physical Therapy. Today I want to talk to all of you that feel like you might be going crazy because you feel like you have something that feels like a urinary tract infection, otherwise known as a UTI, but maybe you've gone to a lot of diff different doctors, find out that you either had a urinary tract infection, but now you don't, but you're still having those same symptoms, or maybe that you've gone and had a bunch of different cultures and urine workup and they're not finding anything. Um, and you're kind of feeling, you know, those symptoms of urinary frequency, like you have to go all the time. Maybe you're having some burning when you go to the bathroom or maybe you're just having some bladder pain. So for some of you out there, if you've gone and had a lot of this tested, but you're still having symptoms, Symptom, and then no one's giving you any answers because there's a lot of physicians that may not realize that some of this could be coming from your pelvic floor muscles. And again, if you've seen any of our other videos, you can kind of refer back because I have a whole video on anatomy. But basically, there's a bunch of muscles that sit right inside your pelvis that you can't see from the outside, okay? And these are called your pelvic floor muscles. Again, if this is a picture of the uh, model of the pelvis, but here's your pubic bone. Here are your two pelvic bones. And then if you look around underneath, this huge red group of muscles connects onto the tailbone. It's kind of like a hammock that goes through your vaginal canal, your rectal canal, and your urethra. Um, so you can see that if there's issues around these muscles, it can actually potentially cause issues around your urethra and up near your bladder, giving you symptoms that feel like it's coming from some type of infection, but it's actually not. It's actually tight muscles. They could be tight muscles in and around this group of muscles called your pelvic floor. So if you suspect that this might be going on, then what do you do? Well, if you haven't been diagnosed already that you have maybe a pelvic floor issue, um, then what you wanna do is you wanna find a pelvic floor therapist near your area that really does understand the pelvic floor, how to treat it, and also works kind of integrated, and what I mean by integrated is they also understand how to work on a lot of the bone issues around the pelvis, around the hip, and then kind of know how to work with that all together. Um, what you actually need done is you need an internal evaluation to check if these muscles are actually involved and maybe causing some of the symptoms that you're having. Now there can be other things that are also involved not only just the pelvic floor muscles, but again, it could be the joints are playing a role into it. Also something called the fascia or the connective tissue could be playing a role in this. And this is all the things that you need to have evaluated to see if this could be contributing to your symptoms. Now, if you live around the Philadelphia area, then it's very obvious, give us a call um, or you know, go on our website and make an inquiry and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, and then hopefully get you in, get you evaluated, and get you treated and moving in the right direction. So I hope that's helpful to some of you out there. Um, again, you can go to our website. It's www.rebalancept.com. And I hope this was helpful and have a wonderful day.